Excellent. For getting started here, we want to go to our calendar table first. We want to check that date field and then uh, making sure that it is currently visible. So if you click on date, go down in the hidden property, just make sure that that is currently set to false. So we want to be able to see that. And then for this one, we actually want to go up to kind of thinking about our Tom. We want to go to our tables here at the very top. And we want to right click this here now and do a create new and then calculation group. So alt plus seven kind of being the shortcut key here. So we've got this new calculation group built. Let's go ahead and call it time intelligence. And then if we just press uh, right here on a direction pad or we can click on the Chevron to expand this, we see name and then we can go ahead and rename this here. So just not in the right click menu. It's going to be either F2 just to go ahead and uh, kind of click into that or you can just do the property page down here, the name. So kind of keep that in mind. So this one, let's go ahead and call this our time calculation. Press enter, we see that it's now been updated. And we wanna add some calculation items here. So if we actually click on calculation items and we uh, do the right click here, we can do a new calculation item. We're gonna do this three times here. So we're gonna add three new items to this calculation group. And then for new calculation, let's go ahead and click on that now. And then we're gonna change from the advanced scripting up to the expression editor. This way we can start writing some DAX. Uh, just unfortunately no IntelliSense, so you'll just have to you know, maybe do this in DAX Studio or Power BI, but calculate. And we're gonna do this new measure here called selected measure, just to open parenthesis, close parenthesis. We're gonna do a comma. We're gonna say dates, month to date, open parenthesis, uh, just single quote here, good practice, calendar. Get that spelled right, single quote, uh, square bracket here for our date column. Close that out, parenthesis, close parenthesis once again. And then uh, why waste good code here? So let's go, just go ahead and copy it, paste it here. Let's change that dates MTD to uh, QTD. Let's change this one from MTD to YTD. So now we've got kind of this MTD, QTD, and YTD. Let's go ahead and rename these. Uh, so new calculation, remember F2. We're gonna just do it over here. I'm just gonna go and press F2. Uh, and let's type in MTD, go down F2, press, and then let's type in QTD one more time, F2, and let's do YTD. Cool. So we've got three different calculation items, uh, and then uh, also a little bit of formatting. So maybe go ahead and get this cleaned up here a little bit. Just before we drop these on the page, I'm going to go ahead and bulk edit all of these. So I'm going to select all three, holding shift. I'm going to go down to the format string expression. I'm gonna do uh, double quotes here now. I'm gonna do the money sign, I'm gonna do the hash, just a numerical, then a comma, zero, dot, zero, zero, double quotes. So I'm gonna just format it here, kind of looking like currency. If I was to click on each one, I can confirm that I was able to bulk edit all three. Very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and actually save this now. Uh, so Control S, we can press the button up here at the very top. And then if we look at our fields pane list here, I'm noticing first and foremost, Power BI is telling me to refresh now, so I need to refresh this table. So if I go to time intelligence, I'll just wanna go ahead and right click this here and then do refresh data. Just to update that underlying data here. And from this, I'm gonna create a matrix visual. Just drag this out here a little bit. We're gonna add that calendar date column. So let's go ahead and drop that in here now. We're also going to add uh, maybe just a measure here. So let's look for total unit price. I drop this in here. So I've got my rows, I've got my, some values. Then I'm gonna add this, this calculation group that I just came up with. So if I go down to the time intelligence table, I'm gonna drop in this time calculation into my columns. Kind of zoom out here, let's get this in full screen. I can see the MTD, QTD, and YTD. Awesome. So it's kind of using that selected measure of the total unit price for me to just look through, kind of return these three different patterns. What if I was actually to remove this now, maybe using a, a different measure here? So it's show me broken, drop in sum of quantity. Bam. So just repeatable patterns. So that's my sum of quantity. I can now see an MTD, QTD, and YTD. So calculation groups are just a fantastic way to uh, kind of reduce the overall measures in your model, just make it a lot easier here for your end users. 
hopefully uh, with this pattern, obviously, and throughout this course, you're just, your mind is racing. You're thinking about all the possibilities, things you want to script out. Hopefully you've seen now maybe some things will be just be easier to just do them by hand real quick, oh, like in this example. Maybe time intelligence and kind of these calculation groups you actually want to script out. So maybe seeing about writing that advanced scripting, which is why I want to leave you with this continue your journey section. Now that you're interested and you're excited to learn more, here's some fantastic places to go to learn more. Power BI tips, awesome YouTube series, some script snippets, uh, just people contributing, also with community scripts, and then SQL BI just to learn more about calculation groups. I hope you've enjoyed your time. Thank you again.